Hi, I'm pro saxophonist Jamie Anderson. You're watching Get Your Sax Together, the home of online saxophone lessons where you can learn cool tunes, become a better player, and just feel happier in your life because you're playing your saxophone better. Uh, this is going to be part two of the Synthetic versus Kane Reads Shootout. So let's get started. Let's load up those guns and see who wins the shootout. <laughs> Of course, make sure you check out part one of the Kane Reads versus Synthetic Reads shootout. You'll find that video linked on the card up there right now. And just before we get into today's shootout, which is tenor and baritone, make sure you check out my free saxophone success masterclass. If you want to learn how to practice more effectively, get a better sound, learn to improvise and learn another whole load of other cool tips and tricks. It's a whole hour of solid zero fluff teaching to really help your sax playing come forward. It's my gift to you. So use the URL there or click the link in the description. Okay, let's get the old guns going and get on with today's shootout, which is Tenor versus Barry. <laughs> As I said in the first video, Legere did send me a bunch of reads to try out. However, I'm not affiliated to Legere. I'm not a Legere artist currently, so all the opinions that I express are completely my own and I have no vested interest in selling Legere reads. So that's the first thing. The second thing is, of course, synthetic reads aren't just about Legere. It's one of the most popular brands, but I've got my kind of back of the envelope notes here. You've also got Alta reads, which are by Silverstein. They've got this Ambi Poly technology, so check out them. Uh, oh, you can shape them and wet them like a normal reed, which is quite cool. Uh, second option you've got is fiber cells. Everyone says they're quite bright. Third option is um, the Hinoki reed by either Forest One or Forest Tone. Must be Forest Tone, right? Why would it be Forest One? <laughs> um, and that is like a hybrid reed. So it's like half wood, half plastic or whatever the high-tech Japanese material they use is. Um, your, how many is that so far? One, two, three. Yeah, your fourth option is old school, like Barry synthetic reeds, not baritone sax, but the brand Barry. And finally, you've also got the uh, fiber reed by Han. So you've got lots of different reeds to try out and maybe somewhere down the road, I'll have to back to back all these different types of synthetic reeds. But for the moment, all I've got is Legere's. So this is Legere and I've got the signature and the American cut and they are going up against a normal Van Doren Java red box read on tenor and baritone. So you're going to see if you can tell the difference. Now, the other thing is, for the person that commented on my last video and said, this test is useless, <laughs> I know that there are plenty of flaws to um, this assessment method. You've got to really play a read for a long time. If you want to tell the difference as a listener, you should probably hear almost an entire track, you know, and then the other one, but it's YouTube, isn't it? You've got to cram it in. <laughs> so I think it's better that you're blind and then you hear a bit, then you hear the other one and you can instantly contrast the two. There's nothing in the Altissimo register. That's a whole nother thing. Um, and also, probably these reads, these Legere reads, need time to settle in. A lot of people have said that. So that's another flaw in the plan. So I know this isn't a perfect system. However, you might not have the money to go out and spending loads of money on synthetic reads. So if you can't tell the difference between the three reads, then you might be thinking, oh, <laughs> this might be worth doing. Finally, I covered this in the part one video, but the setup for this test is, uh, you can see the things, that side, <laughs> you can see the uh, mic interface, and I've used Logic Audio, there's no EQ, there's no plugins, there's no reverb, it's just raw, as you see it, microphone to your ear. So I'm not cheating, I'm not changing the levels for any of the reads or anything like that, okay. Now, let's get on with the test, and we're starting with tenor. Righty ho, let's start with my favorite horn, which is tenor. I'm gonna play a scale, I think, what did I play? G scale, I think. And then I'm gonna play for the kind of poppy, but also a little bit mellow. I'm gonna play uh, the Michael Brecker line from Your Latest Trick by Dar Straits. And then following that, just for the jazz heads, I'm gonna play the start of Sonny Rollins' solo off Toot Toot Tootsie, which is an absolutely awesome track. You gotta check that out. Toot Toot Tootsie by Sonny Rollins. So here's the test. 
See if you can tell the difference between the Van Doren Redbox 3.5 and the um, Legere Signature 2.75, quite a bit softer, eh? Um, but they were about the same strength. And the American Cut, also 2.75. Here we go. So, could you tell the difference between the three? <laughs> Actually, what it was, A was the Legere American Cut 2.75, B was the Legere Signature 2.75, and C was the traditional Java, Van Doren Java Red Box 3.5. Now, I don't know if these Legere reads are growing, my, uh, growing on me a bit, because... I never really used to like them on tenor. There's like something about the cane which just can never be replicated. But today, I was a little bit more impressed with the shares. So uh, I'm not saying I would jump ship, but I would definitely have it as something up my sleeve. Now, in the past when I've purchased Legere reeds and really gigged hard, I have noticed that you get little, you sometimes get little cracks or splits in the reed. So that's one thing to be looked out for. But apart from that, I quite enjoyed playing the Legere's on tenor today. And I'll be very interested um, in your comments if you could tell the difference between the three. Okay, let's move it on now to baritone. For the baritone test, I'm going to start off with a B-flat major scale and I'm going to repeat a few of the bottom notes so you can really hear the difference there. For something quite mellow and expressive and mid-range of the instrument, we're going to do Harlem Nocturne, which is an awesome tune. It's just so wicked. Every sax player loves that one. And then for something really punchy and hard and funky, which is, why, which is what a lot of baritone players might need to do, I'm going to play the famous Squib Cakes baritone line by Tower of Power. So you've got a few different things to contrast. Now, again, we've got Van Doren Java Redbox 2.5 this time, which is going up against the uh, Legere Signature 3.0 and the Legere American Cut 3.0. See if you can tell the difference. <laughs> Thank you. 
So how did you get on? Could you tell any difference between those three different reads across all the different styles? Well, I can now reveal that A was, drum roll please, the traditional cane read Van Doren Java 2.5. B was Leger American Cut 3.0. And C was the Leger Signature 3.0. Now for me, I could probably get behind playing Leger on baritone. It's funny how I, I could definitely get behind it on soprano and now baritone at the extreme ranges, but the two alto and tenor in the, in the middle, I'm a bit more like, yeah. Um, just one of the big reasons why I could get behind that is I don't play baritone very much and it would just be so great to know that when I come back to baritone, every time it plays exactly the same as the last time and I haven't got really ancient reads that I don't know how they're going to perform. So... I was quite impressed with the uh, Leger reads on baritone, and that is, that is something that I would definitely consider using. So that is all I've got time for this week. Really hope you enjoyed the show. I hope it's useful to see if you can tell the difference between traditional cane and these Leger synthetic reads. Um, it might help inform your decision when you go to purchase yours. I know it really has been an interesting experiment to me. And many thanks to Legere for sending me the reads. Much appreciated. I've also got clarinet and bass clarinet reads. Didn't have time to uh, A-B them on this video, but I will definitely be trying them out in my own time. Uh, plus, probably very few people on this channel play clarinet and bass clarinet, so it's not really interesting. Anyway... For all you people that have bought me a coffee, thank you very much. It's much appreciated. They seem to have stopped doing PayPal, which is like super annoying. And a few people have said they can't use their credit cards. So if there's any grief with uh, buy me a coffee at the moment, many apologies. You know, I don't look after buy me a coffee. It's just a really useful way of people saying thank you. So if you're having a bit of problems with that, apologies, stick with it. <laughs> because I really do appreciate every little shot of caffeine, believe me. Um, as I mentioned earlier, there's the Saxophone Success Masterclass, which is, uh, it's just wicked. Just, if you haven't already watched it, and you keep seeing me saying it every video, but you still haven't watched it, seriously, go and check it out. It's absolutely wicked. Um, so that's all I've got time for this week. And until next week, make sure that you practice hard, practice smart, and enjoy the music. <laughs> Take it easy. Bye. Tenor versus Barry. <laughs> oh, that was close. Nice. <laughs> that was close. <laughs>